Well, Mike, perhaps it was a, a tale of two halves here at the Memorial Ground this afternoon. A, a first half that was nip and tuck, nothing to choose between the sides on the field and on the scoreboard. But then a sensational second 40 from your side to score 24 unanswered points to go on and prevail. You, you must be delighted with that. Yeah, it was, uh, I thought the first half was really scrappy. I think, you know, I think we only completed it something like just over 50 percent and i don't think they could have been much higher i don't know what it was but i think if any team takes control of that first half they could have posted more points and you know it could have looked a bit different but regrouped came out second half stuck to the plan and yeah they, they got the just rewards and i was i was really proud of how they didn't deviate from the plan too much in that second half it would have been easy too when we just nudged ourselves in front like 18-6 to start throwing the ball around willy-nilly but we didn't we just dug out hard work up the middle and then Loads of push and support when we got some joy. And yeah, I thought, I thought we were really good in that second half. At times this season, we've conceded tries at vital times that have swung momentum to opposition teams. Last week at Hunslet being a case in point, roles reversed this afternoon. I think that's a demonstration of just how key momentum is in rugby league, isn't it? To score just after half time. Like yeah, that. it's massive. And we spoke about momentum at half time and we, we, we sort of said that if we can keep our nerves and if we can be happy being boring early doors. We'll, we'll be all right, you know, if we can complete higher and, and lo and behold, I think it's about the second set when Conroy, I thought he was outstanding in that second half, you know, carp him up through the middle and loads of support and we, when we're in and we never look back from that. I don't think we give him a sniff in that second half. Lots to build on for coming. I know we've got a week off next week, which might frustrate you a little bit, but everyone's got a week off owning the Challenge Cup final, but then another home game here against Rochdale. You must take bags and bags of confidence from this to go into that game. Yeah, massive race. I think we've we've sort of learned that sometimes you've got to do the hard work. You know, we know we've got tries in us. We know we've got really good tries with some of the players we've got. You know, Adam Russell and Bailey Black. You know, Cam Brown. You know, Punch. Yeah, we've, we're a really good side. You know, with players some who didn't play today. But I think we've learned now that we've got to do that hard graft and probably you know stay in that for a little bit longer it, it, to earn the right to play that rugby so I think if we can use what we've learned today and kick on you know we'll just start looking up the league now really what pleases you most as a coach the points on the scoreboard are the ones you kept out at the other end it kept out kept out massively and we said that in there then I just think we, we, we just had a bit of a resolve in us how we played the game especially when we could like second half competing up this end we just finished sets really well in corners and just made it difficult you know and, and just just stuck to a task just stuck to a task and uh, we spoke about them not scoring in the second half and us completing high and we, we just ticked loads of boxes and a word for the fans as well they've uh, been some difficult times here at home so far this season but you know another great crowd cheered us on this afternoon that win just reward for them as well yeah I think I think it's worth pointing out how, how good they were because usually on a day like this in Cornwall beaches are full and that's what people do, you know. So the fact there's many of them to turn out as they did to watch this, it's just amazing. It just shows that, you know, rugby league's got a home here in Cornwall now and they just need to build on it. Well, Mike, huge congratulations. Enjoy your evening and uh, thanks for your time as always. Cheers, Gareth. Thank you.